welcome into a brand new episode of WSI TV. Enjoy the show. Welcome everybody to another weekly market update. Uh, it's Sunday uh, after the market closed on the 13th of October, making this the 15th of October. Every week, this is where we look at the big picture. What's the stock market doing? What kind of market is it in? Is it going up? Is it going down? And we look at the short-term trend to see how it's going to affect your individual trades. Stock market affects everything. Uh, house values, the economy, everything. is. This is like a crystal ball looking at all those things. And uh, your retirement funds, all that money you're paying into banks and here and there, into pensions and whatever, it all goes to the stock market. So uh, it's very important to know uh, where it's going and so on so we're looking at the S&P 500 here which is kind of like a benchmark for the whole planet here's the bottom down here across from 2015 all the way up this is years going up here and the price going up and down there each little vertical bar here is a week of action up or down and these moving averages here kind of smooth it out for us to see the kind of the average direction of things based on the 40 week last 40 weeks and the red one here the last 70 weeks so um, this is an extremely aggressive uh, uptrend. This is a bull market, no question about it, a very powerful one. And that's something that uh, my system that I teach at my seminars and so on predicted back last November. And it hasn't stopped going up since, and it's not getting you out of that yet. Um, so uh, the trend continues upwards. Um, we're not gonna fight that trend. We're definitely gonna go short this market. We're gonna ride with it. But, but this is now getting on for a year without even a healthy correction. One, two, um, it's, it's getting to be a crowded trade now. And it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Here's what's happening. As, this, as the stock market keeps going up, the so-called tracker funds, the funds that just basically just follow the market, have been doing well. So more money goes into the tracker funds. So the tracker funds go up. And then so they're doing well. So more money goes into the tracker funds. And so and that's really what's been going on here. You know, um, Money has been like flowing into the stock market because everyone's uh, desperately searching for a return in a low interest environment. And the stock market has been delivering. And it's just, you know, self-fulfilling because more money goes in, it makes the market go up. More money goes in, the market goes up. Um, an interesting thing we also look at is the VIX. This is a volatility index. The lower it is, the more complacent the market is, and the higher it is, the more fearful the market is. Something very interesting about the VIX is here it is on the weekly chart, which is more you know going back over years, and you can see just how low it is currently. Uh, since I think since uh, I was reading some uh, interesting research. Um, since 1990, so in the last 27 years, the VIX has closed below 10 around 40 times, 40 times, and 30 of those have been in this year alone. So just think about that. In the last 27 years, 40 times the VIX closed below 10, in other words, very complacent, and 30 of those have been in this year alone. So something is definitely off. Uh, as I say, I'm not. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to fight the trend. I'm going to ride the trend. I've been making money with the trend. I'll continue to do so. But I'm just saying, you know, it's it's. Uh, and there's so many people now who actually that what they do is they short the VIX. They short the VIX, and that's been a as you can see, that's been a great trade. But so many people are now on the short side of the VIX. It's vulnerable to what's called a short squeeze, uh, which could send the send the thing higher. As more and more people with their fat pockets full of gains from the stock market seek protection and start to buy uh, you know get more fearful to lock things in that becomes that can come become a self-fulfilling prophecy as well and just get a violent correction going to the downside so uh, now a correction would be healthy you know um, but you know it doesn't it doesn't want to do that let's look at the daily chart here this is day-to-day -day action here it's a bit more short trend which is more for traders as well and what direction of things are going. I'm not seeing any signs much, so I had a distribution day there, not much signs of uh, danger though otherwise, short term. Um, and even in the week ahead, I'm not saying anything's gonna happen in the week ahead. I'm talking just more big picture now. Uh, this is getting sillier and sillier um, and uh, to be aware. Um, even by um, this trend though, this has got, look at this is the 50 day average and it's just way up here in the clouds, riding half of its 50 day, never mind it's 200 day. A healthy correction by the way, but it came down to around somewhere around this region here in the 200 day area around here. 
and then just you know bounced on that that would be healthy we haven't seen that yet so i would get you know if this if the, if this market get if this s p 500 spx let's say is our benchmark guide start to get wary if this gets below the 50-day moving average um and it's riding so high above it right now that would already represent a significant drop so um, start to be, uh, you know, be careful if you if you see that. Otherwise, just enjoy the ride because um, until proven otherwise, all said and done, this is the big bull market, and the short term trend, the up sorry the long term trend is up, and the short term trend is up. Just keep an eye on it, and I'll speak to you next time. <laughs>